Hey, what's up, guys? Before we get into the video, what I wanted to do is just tell you, man, come over to FunnelHackerPro.com. You can just go to FHP.io. Hey, I'm going to talk about how to get started. It's a big question I get. Obviously, a lot of people are saying that, hey, I'm, you know, I'm an, I'm an expert. <laughs> so this class isn't for you, right? So um, I get a lot of questions. Um, how to start a social media marketing agency, um, how to start a digital marketing agency. And I wanted to talk about that. So today is, you know, it's not really, um, you know, like a lesson that I'm going to pull out. Right. But what I want to talk about first was an idea, right? This is, this is where it all starts right here. An idea when you first, uh, uh, have, an idea of what it is that you want to do. It all starts with this fucking light bulb. And, um, uh, uh, for people that are on the podcast, I'm just showing a picture of a light bulb, you know, a bright idea, but this is how it all starts. Now ideas are good, but ideas without action are just ideas. And that's where it all starts. Right. And again, you know, a lot of you that are out there are newbies and there's some people that have even gotten started, but I think that you got started on the wrong foot personally. Right. You know, this is one of the bigger pictures I really like right here, right? So uh, a lot of people, um, matter of fact, I think I'm going to give this to Nancy right now to use as my thumbnail. That's, that's what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be nice. I'm just going to have her put my picture on there. It'll be nice, right? So a lot of things uh, start with an idea. How do I get started? What do I want to do? So what is your idea? And again, ideas without action mean nothing. They're just ideas. A lot of people have ideas, right? And a lot of people have good intentions. A lot of people, you know, are passionate about what they do and blah, blah, blah. But if they're not taking action and they're not taking action in a good way, then nothing's going to happen for them. Nothing's, nothing's going to happen like, oh, shit, you know, I'm making a million dollars right now. So first thing to do is how do I get started is to take action. And then you're saying, well, I get caught. People get caught up on what to do next. Right. That's the the biggest, the big, you know, what do I do to get started? OK, that's going to be, you know, how do I get started? Look at all this shit here. How do I get started? I can just find shit all day long. Right. How do I get started? What do I do? And then even here. So 10 things you need to do when you're getting started on YouTube. Right. I wouldn't even suggest reading stuff like this. Right. How do you get started? And this, this is shit that'll catch you up. How you get started is by executing your idea. Now, I'm going to tell you now, as it pertains to a digital marketing agency, right? So here's where we go. This is where it really gets started. And I, I really can't make it any plainer than this. All right, so now that I have this plugged in. So when it, as it pertains to your client, right, uh, our digital marketing, that's where it starts. It starts with the client, okay? It's never about you and what your your goals are. So I've noticed some people that all start off talking about themselves and, oh, I want to make a million dollars and I want to do this and I want to do that or what your goals are. Your goals have nothing to do with a digital marketing agency. All you're going to do is serve other people, right? That's a big one. You're going to serve other people, right? So as you know, like dealing with clients and finding out what their needs are. So this is where you start because this is where you're going to win. And remember, I've said this before. If you haven't been on one of my webinars, make sure you sign up for the link below. My webinars happen every Thursday, I believe. Uh, just click the link below and you'll find out. But they're every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or every Tuesday. I believe they're Thursday, though. So every Thursday uh, at uh, Eastern Standard Time, you'll be able to come in and find out how to get started with your digital marketing agency or just how to get started making money online in general, right? Because it all starts with your client. And if, if you're not trying to be a, a, a digital marketing agency, then it all starts with your customer, okay? Either way, it all finds out, it starts out with finding out, number one, how can I serve them? What do they need? What are their needs, right? What do they want? right? Okay. So that's where it starts. And that's, so in other words, it starts with research. And I've heard, I know you guys heard me say this a million times and I can never say it enough. So I'm going to keep saying it. It starts with research. Okay. 
it starts right there with trying to understand what is it that your client really needs, right? And so as it pertains to a digital marketing agency, there's only two things that your clients want, right? And we already know that. That's money and time, right? So this is my little clock right here. My wife's going to laugh, but that's okay. So I'll even put a little... Uh, A little bell on top there. All right. So we'll even put feet. How's that? <laughs> All right. So there's my clock right there, right? So it's just money and time. That's the only thing your clients want, right? And so the, the first thing that I want to tell you about, and you'll find out on my webinar as well, is that if you're trying to sell something that cannot fix an immediate problem today, I have pain, right? And I want to fix that pain today, right? So let me tell you something. If you go to the doctor and you say that I have back pain and the doctor comes to say, hey, man, listen, you're going to be in pain for the next year. But after that year, I swear, you're not going to have any more pain. You're going to leave, right? So we don't want to promise something for the future. Remember, your clients want a fix now. So your job to get started is to find out what can I do to make my ease my client's pain now, today? Okay. How can I give them more money? How can I give them more time today? And that's all your job is. That's how you get started, right? And so let me dispel some bullshit right now for you. So, uh, well, Sonny, that means that I need to give them more ads. They need to have more ads or whatever. So number one is if you don't know how to run ads, don't promise ads. Okay. Ads aren't easy and it's spending money, right? So that's the exact opposite of what they want. Remember, they want more money and they, they want more money, right? And they want more time. If you don't know how to run ads, you're going in the exact opposite direction of that. You're going to have them drop two or 3,000 in ad budget so you can dump it down the drain and get no results. Don't promise Facebook ads. That's the one thing that I've been noticing that's a problem in the community is that everybody's, you know, they learn that Facebook ads, well, it's not so much now. It's starting to slow down a lot now, right? But Facebook ads, man, oh, that was the answer for everybody's problems. I'm going to run some Facebook ads for you because that's what you need. But that's not all the way true because what if your client runs a supplement company? I've said this before. Then they can't run Facebook ads and they also can't run Google ads. So you need to be a well-rounded media buyer. So you need to understand your client's what When you have a niche, you need to understand your client's needs. So I'll give you another example. If you're also working for that same supplement company, right, there's certain claims that you can't make that would send your client to jail. <laughs> Seriously. So if you make certain claims in your ad copy, number one, Facebook is going to get rid of you. But number two, they're going to have the FDA on their on their ass now because Facebook's probably going to report like these dudes are coming with false claims. Google's going to slam them and they're going to be done for. So you have to be prepared for that. Now, let me tell you what the the plus side of this is. This what I just named to you is a pain point for people that have supplement companies. This right here. They always have copywriters and guys run their ads that don't understand that they have uh, they could they could have false claims and that they could have a problem with ads. So if you were to say, "Hey man, I specialize. I niche down, right? And I specialize in health supplements. I understand your problems. We won't make any false claims. We make sure that all of our ads are pre-approved and Facebook and Google compliant, right?" FDA, Facebook, and Google compliant. If you told this to anybody that was running the marketing for a uh, health uh, supplement company, you're going to get their ears, right? So I say that to say that the same thing goes for working for a doctor, right? So they have what they call HIPAA for doctors. So for doctors, if you, um, the ads that you run, if they're talking about, Hey, do you have gonorrhea or venereal disease? And somebody's looking at that shit on Facebook. If somebody's looking over their shoulder and can put two and two together to say, wait a minute, this person is looking for ads for gonorrhea. They must have it or heart disease. 
that's breaking the co- the di- the, conf- the confidentiality between a doctor and his client just by somebody looking over their shoulder being nosy. So if you can say that to a doctor that you understand the HIPAA requirements and you're HIPAA compliant, Facebook ads compliant, and you don't make false claims, yada, 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 you're ahead of the game. This is doing your research and understanding your client's pain points and the needs. So this is where it all starts off with. This is where you get started. You don't get started saying, I need to do Facebook ads, right? You don't get started saying, hey, I want to do SEO for you. You start off understanding what your client's pain points are and then and figure out a way. This is the skill you need. Let's talk about that next. That's the skill you need. Once you find out your your customers, your uh, clients' pain points, your prospects' pain point, you need to develop the skill in order to fix that pain point. And how you do that is by niching down, okay? So now that's starting to uh, get a little bit out of the scope of this video. Again, if you want to hear more, matter of fact, you can come to fhp.io. I'll write this down real quick. Come to FHP, uh, fhp.io. I'm always doing free uh, training in there. Um, you'll probably see this training inside of fhp.io. And also, come to my, uh, click the link below and come to my, my webinar every Thursday. Um, and you'll get more and more of this. The, my webinars are like seriously super fun, number one. Number two is it's full of real value. Coffee break. Ah. <laughs> 